fire department. My family's um, involved in the fire department. I come from a lineage. My grandfather, my uncles, my dad. It's something I grew up in, something I always knew since I was a little kid. My name is Julianne Lee Forsyth. I'm 23 years old, native Staten Islander, and I'm a visual artist working with audio. I actually just finished the project where it's a walking tour of the day 9-11 happened, but from my dad's perspective. The audio project starts with firefighters talking on the ferry, talking about, you know, are we going to make it to the Trade Center? Like, what time is it? And we're constantly, constantly referencing time because time was so important at that moment because it took about maybe from the time they got off the ferry till the time they had ran from South Ferry to the Trade Center, the towers had actually collapsed at their feet. So I, I think about I think about it. I think about had things been different, may, maybe my father wouldn't have been here. And I try to express that in the project. I try to express this idea. Um, the the audio actually goes for about three minutes, and all you hear is the sound of a firefighter breathing from um, his mask, breathing the oxygen and you hear the running and the running and the equipment and you hear the heaviness and you hear the breathing and I try to put the, the listener in the shoes of these firefighters that day because just because it was from the viewpoint of what would be my dad or my uncle, it, it was the story for everybody. Um, not for everybody, but it was for a majority of it. So for me, um, I felt like that was more important. I feel like now I'm experiencing different things and the, um, the audio leaves you off at the Trade Center how it is now. And I invite the viewer to download an attachment and the attachment con includes a photograph of my father at the World Trade Center with all the rubble and with all the debris and destruction and you know these giant steel beams like sticking out of the ground the shells the skeleton of what the trade center was and if they were to download the packet they would see this photograph and I invite the viewer to see the photograph and envision what it was because as beautiful as as it is to look at these two vast fountains and this greenery I want the listener to know that this wasn't here this was this is almost what feels like a graveyard to some people. You know, even myself, I've only been down to the Trade Center about two or three times since 9-11. And one of the times being in 2001, when my dad took us all just to kind of say our goodbyes to uncles who were my dad's best friends. And, you know, I, I've, I've had a closer bond with the firefighters my entire life, and I, I kept looking for a reason. I kept looking for purpose. And I think it was this January I started looking at myself. And I think my photography professor really helped pull that from me. And I started looking at my life. I started analyzing what was important to me. And all along, I had this story. I had this ability. I had this key, in a sense, to this whole fire department lifestyle and this firehouse. And growing up in a story that very few people share or very few people actually have, but the people who have it know it front and back. They know this idea of brotherhood. They know this idea of family. And they truly understand what it's like to be united and to love each other unconditionally.